This 2016 consensus statement gathered experts around the world to systematically review the current evidence on FAI syndrome to provide clear recommendations for practice. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Femoral acetabular impingement syndrome, or FAI in short, is a motion-related clinical disorder with a triad of symptoms, clinical signs, and imaging findings. It represents a symptomatic premature contact between the proximal femur and the acetabulum. Griffin et al. published a consensus statement, which usually is a systematic review with an expert panel to discuss the current guidelines on treating these patients. There exist three types of FAI. The first is the CAM, being an enlarged femoral neck which produces symptoms with acetabular contact. The pincer, which is pretty much the reverse, and a combination of both. So how do we diagnose it? Simple. We need symptoms, imaging findings, and clinical signs. Symptoms should be mostly motion or position related. Generally, pain is located at the groin, but may be felt in the back, buttock, or thigh. In addition to pain, patients may also describe clicking, catching, locking, stiffness, restricted range of motion, or giving way. Now, just pain is pretty unreliable. It's hard to know if we're dealing with intra or extra articular pain. An X-ray in Dunview and AP or pain ablation after a local injection can confirm the diagnosis. So we've covered pain and imaging. What about clinical signs? Hip impingement tests usually reproduce the patient's typical pain. The most commonly used test being the fader is sensitive but not specific, which means it's useful for excluding when negative. There is often a limited range of motion, typically restricted internal rotation and flexion. Treatment can be conservative care, rehabilitation or surgery. Conservative care may involve education, watchful waiting, lifestyle and activity modification. Physiotherapy-led rehabilitation aims to improve hip stability, neuromuscular control, strength, range of motion and movement patterns. Surgery, either open or arthroscopic, aims to improve the hip's morphology and repair damaged tissue. Your patient wants to know by prognosis. The treated patient will frequently improve and return to full activity, including sports. Without treatment, symptoms of FEI syndrome will probably worsen over time, according to the authors. The long-term outlook for patients with FEI syndrome is unknown. However, it is likely that CAM morphology is associated with hip OA. We currently do not know if treating the hip has any effect on that. That's it for this video. I hope you like these short pathology overviews. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Suggestions are more than welcome. I'm Max for Physio Tutors and I will see you in another video. Bye.